Hi there, Namaste. Welcome to the day 29 of our 30 day yoga for weight loss challenge with me Naveen Sharma. Yes, we are on day 29 and I'm really proud of you that you have completed from day 1 to day 28. It really means a lot. All my effort, all my things that I've done in this series is getting really, really served. So thank you so much for being so consistent. Just two more days, today's and the next day and we will be done with the series. So stay consistent to see all the results. Today's session is on power yoga, so without a further ado now, let's get started. We'll keep the back straight, hands in chin mudra, eyes closed. Very slowly bring your attention to your breath. Now let us repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. I feel my best when I'm active. On that positive note, bring your palms together in Namaste, going for one more deep inhale and exhale. Very slowly start to rub your palms. Bring your palms to your face, energizing yourself. Look at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, so let's get started. How we start with Kapalabhati for three rounds, each round one minute. Let's go for the first round. Start. And now you can stop observing the changes happening within the body and mind. And now let's get started with the round two. And we will stop it, observing the changes happening within the body and mind.
Let's go ahead for the last round. And relax. Continue to observe all the changes in your abdominal region in your breath. Find ease in your breath. Find stimulation in your abdominal region. Now slowly bring your palms together in Namaste. Going for one more breath. Slowly start to rub your palms, creating a good amount of energies in your palms. Bring your palms to your face, energizing yourself, looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, so now let's go ahead with our today's warm up, which is Vyagra Asan. Quickly look at it. For this one, you will come onto the tabletop position like this and then you will raise your right leg up higher inhale looking up and then exhale knee close to the forehead and then we change the side like this we'll do a total five rounds alternate let's go for it take a deep breath inhale exhale it out and now get starting inhale exhale knee close to your forehead change the side Inhale, left leg up. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. <clears throat> Inhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale. Four. Left. Last one. Left. And relax. All right. So here we are done with our warm-up and now we will go ahead for our power yoga sequence we are on day 29 so intensity will be a little bit higher but i'll give you the variations to scale it down and continue to scale it up if you want to so just follow the scale down version scale up version modify your practice according to you but because it is day 29 it is going to be a little bit more challenging all right so the first micro sequence in our entire power yoga sequence is going to be malasana followed by ardha utkat asan quickly look at it for malasana you will keep your legs like this you will inhale exhale going down and then inhale you will come up then you will again inhale taking your right ankle to the left thigh just above your left knee and then exhale you will go halfway this is ardha utkat asan then you will come back inhale and then exhale you will go on the other side and that's how you will make the entire one round like this we will go ahead for total 10 rounds we'll go for go for it slowly we'll go for each breath properly if it is challenging to go all the way down in malasan you just go halfway all right perfect let's get started now together 
inhale together legs slightly apart exhale and now inhale exhale right ankle to the left slowly down inhale up exhale left onto the right down and then inhale come back that was round one let's go for the second one again inhale exhale inhale let's slow it down again exhale out now inhale take your right leg to the left exhale going down inhale up stay there exhale inhale left ankle to the right and now exhale down inhale come back and now third round exhale all the way down inhale up exhale inhale right ankle to the left exhale halfway inhale exhale it out now inhale left ankle to the right exhale coming back up inhale going for the fourth round now exhale going all the way down to malasan inhale up exhale it out again inhale exhale inhale up exhale inhale left leg to the right and then exhale inhale up going for the fifth round exhale up again inhale exhale inhale right goes to the left exhale inhale exhale inhale left on to the right and then exhale down inhale up if you're finding it becoming challenging rest for one or two rounds and again start exhale down sixth round inhale up inhale and then exhale again inhale up exhale it out inhale left over the right exhale inhale up and then exhale seventh round inhale exhale inhale right ankle to the left exhale down inhale exhale inhale left over the right exhale inhale up going for eighth round exhale inhale exhale now inhale right ankle to the left exhale inhale up exhale and then inhale left to the right exhale inhale up going for ninth round exhale inhale come back up exhale inhale again right ankle to the left exhale inhale exhale now inhale exhale inhale up going for the last round exhale inhale 
exhale and then inhale again right ankle to the left exhale inhale exhale left onto the right exhale down and then inhale coming back up all right so here we are done with our first micro sequence let's go ahead with the next one and you already know the next one will be working on our core and we will be moving from pavan muktasana to ardha navasana quickly look at it how exactly we will do it so there are two versions to it first thing you will do is to coming into this position this is pavan muktasana from here you will try and take your legs forward and take your hands forward like this and looking up your only lower back will be touching the ground upper and the middle back will be off the ground in case this is challenging keep your legs down and do this and then again come back right totally 10 times you're going to try this any time you feel it is creating a pain on your lower back immediately stop the practice wait for some time until we come to the next asana all right let's get started or you can just be in this position also in case it is becoming challenging let's go for this pavana muktasan inhale exhale and now inhale coming into ardha navasan exhale two go slow inhale ardha navasana looking up exhale Three, Ardha Navasana. Inhale, exhale. Four, five, six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, all right, so we are done with this core crusher and now let's go ahead for our next asana, quickly look at it, this is going to be Vashishta asana variation on your palms. So first you will come on your plank position santanasana you will take your both the heels down to the right side you'll ground your right palm properly left and goes up higher from here you will inhale left leg up and then slowly down all right so this is how we will do it any time you feel it is becoming more for your wrist you can just relax yourself do one round break then do the uh, second round break like this you can keep going Let's get started now for total 5 rounds each side. First we'll complete with the right and then go for the left. Taking your both the heels down to the right, pressing your palms. Either you can have your hand up or here. Let's get started. Inhale. Exhale. 2. Keep going. 3. Look at only one place for balance. 4. and 5 wonderful slowly come back let us do it on the other side i am switching my side you don't have to do this coming again to santolan asan dropping your heels down press your left palm right and goes up higher let's get started 1 2 inhale up exhale down 3 Three then and out. Four, five. Awesome. Very slowly. Come back. All right. We're only halfway through, and I can feel the intensity. That's what a day twenty-nine look like. All right. Now we will go ahead and quickly look at our next micro sequence, which will happen from Virabhadrasana one. to parivrt utkatasana quickly look at it you will come into the downward facing dog you will take your right leg forward back sole will be down 
this will be your warrior one virabhadrasana one from there you will take your left leg forward we cross and form the parvrit utkat asan and then you go back into the downward facing dog and then we keep going alternatively first right and then left five rounds let's get started together any time you find it become it is becoming very challenging you can reduce one or two rounds let's get started inhale exhale right foot forward back sole down right knee bend in line with the ankle inhale virabhadrasana 1 exhale left leg by the side of your right bend your knees left elbow crossing your right thigh and both the palms together now moving back into downward facing dog left leg forward exhale inhale up exhale parivrit utkat asan inhale both the palms down exhale moving back let's go for the second round right leg forward exhale inhale virabhadrasana 1 exhale parivrit utkat asan inhale palms down exhale push back left leg exhale inhale up exhale twist inhale hands down exhale pushing back third round warrior 1 exhale twist inhale down exhale back left leg inhale up exhale twist inhale hands down exhale moving back fourth round warrior 1 exhale twist inhale exhale back left leg forward inhale exhale twist inhale and then exhale one last round to go that's it moving forward warrior 1 exhale twist inhale and exhale last round left foot forward right sole down inhale exhale inhale take both the palms down exhale push back into the downward facing dog and then slowly taking your both the knees down and here we done with this one let's quickly go ahead for our next one which is again a killer for the upper body this is going to be a chaturanga dand asan a push up like position quickly look at it so ideally we should be able to try this from here from the santulan asana going half way down and then slowly come back up we'll try and do it for five times if this is challenging you will cross your legs have the knees a little bit back shoulders forward try and go down if you can hold it here great or else you can go down from there you try and pull yourself up we'll try and go for five times it has to be slow this is not push ups this is chaturanga dand asan all right coming into santulan asan take a deep breath and heal exhale halfway slowly and then inhale gently come back nice two exhale inhale keep going three slowly come back four inhale up last one five 
inhale all right you're it great let's take a deep breath inhale exhale it out completely awesome now let's go ahead for our last asana of our today's power yoga sequence which is going to be a hold and this is ardha navasan quickly look at it a variation of ardha navasan so what you will do basically you will lie down on your back like this keeping your knees in line with your hips your ankles will be in line with your knees you pull the toes and then you try pull yourself up your upper back and the low back your upper and the middle back will be up low back will be down and then you look up this will create a lot of tension on your abdominal region this is how we will do it in case you find any challenge on your low back you come down at that time first and then after that hug your knees all right let's try and go ahead for 30 seconds of this posture all right let's come up and let me start the timer holding it here try and look up just breathing in breathing out feel the vibrations even i'm getting a lot of vibrations it just works crazily on the core just breathe in breathe out last 10 seconds breathe in breathe out staying here and we are done slowly relax all right that was a killer but with this killer we have completed the power yoga sequence of day 29 i'm sure you found it challenging i myself found it challenging so now just relax for the next two breaths before we go ahead for our cool down asanas let's go for two breaths all right gently open your eyes quickly look at me what exactly we will do we are doing an inversion sarvang asan now sarvang asana will not work well for everyone if anyone has any challenge on the neck so let me quickly show you what you will do if you are not doing sarvang asana you will be going ahead with setu band asan which will be your legs will be here only and you will lift your pelvis up higher hands down this is an alternative to sarvang asan all right now look at sarvang asan for sarvang asana you will lift the hip up higher and support your back with your hands like this all right you will do this first you will try and support your back with your hands your knees can be bent and then as you feel comfortable you can raise your legs slowly one by one the easier version is your hips away from you and toes away from your head this is going to be slightly easier to balance but if you want to go more in this more advanced will be full your shoulders hip and the feet all will be in one line the option was easier option was this hips away from you toes away from your head all right so whichever works best for you please go ahead with that there is no rush in the practice we are all evolving in our practice all right you can also go ahead for setu bandhasana if that works best for you right now all right take a deep breath inhale if you are going ahead for sarvangasana go ahead with me exhale it out and now inhale try and lift your hip up higher support yourself with your hands if you are here and if you are comfortable try and straighten one leg If you're comfortable here, try and straighten left leg also. You can stay here for ten, or else if you're comfortable, you can go ahead with full straight. Your shoulder, hip, toes. One. Try and look at the tip of your nose. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
now very slowly bend your left leg bend your right leg and then gently roll the back onto the mat and then relax here taking a deep breath inhale exhale inhale exhale now we'll do a counter position which will help us to release the tension from the neck matsya asan for matsya asana we will be here only but we will take the palms below the hips so take your palms right now only with me below the hips and then gently stretch your legs forward look pull the toes towards you now press your elbows down and try to lift yourself up like this all right now when you lift yourself only one thing is pending you lift your chest and take your head top of the head onto the ground as much as the body allow let's try and hold this for the next 5 breaths together lift the chest hold it here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and then gently look forward relax yourself and then open the legs wide turn your toes falling down hands facing up now we are going ahead for shavasan so let us just keep your eyes closed loosen your body completely and relax we are going for abdominal region breathing And now let's go ahead for humming sound for five times. vibrations all throughout your body Your body and mind are now completely relaxed. Sensitize your toes, your palms. Bring your legs closer, point your toes, stretch your arms behind. And then slowly loosen up. Fold your legs. Gently take a turn to the side and stay there. Ah. 
coming back and sitting in a comfortable position with your back straight arms together and namaste one more deep inhale and exhale let us start to rub your palms creating good amount of energies in your palms bring your palms to your face look at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks all right my dear friend we are done with day 29 only one day to go to complete this entire 30 day yoga for weight loss series with me are you up for this tomorrow i have a very special session wherein we will be practicing 24 rounds of surya namaskar this is going to be a grand finale so do not miss out on this make sure you clock in 10k steps today as well as it is very important part of this entire series and also go ahead for asana of the day our today's asana of the day is sarvang asana so you can just go back in the time stamp see how sarvang asana is done and you can go ahead shoot a video of that post it on our facebook community yoga with navin and i'll be very happy to see your progress in the sessions all right so i'll see you now in the grand finale day 30 tomorrow make your calendar blocked and now bye bye namaste